Yeah, so yet again, for probably like the eighth time on this channel or something like that, we are talking about TikTok tattoo drama. Now, I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it's just TikTok showing me this type of content. Maybe they know that I've been getting like a fair few tattoos recently. But it seems like there is a lot of tattoo drama on that app. Like, it really does feel like every single day at this point, I'm seeing a new piece of like tattoo drama on that app. And obviously, I'm not going to cover them all. But the one that I saw today was definitely worth talking about, especially the last bit we're going to get to. I kind of want to do this in specific order. But the last bit that we'll get to towards the end of the video, completely baffled me. So for all of this to make sense, I need to introduce you to Ariel De Jesus, who is a TikToker with about 500,000 followers. As you can see by the TikTok, they're a tattoo artist. And Ariel seems to have like a very specific niche with her tattoos that we will get to and it'll all make a lot more sense. But first of all, I want to show you the video that introduced me to Ariel. This is a video that was uploaded just about a week or two ago. If this is the one you're talking about, I'm 100% gonna make time while I'm grilling. First and foremost, we all know the shtick. She does cheap ass tattoos um, that aren't gonna break the bank. For 160 bucks, this tattoo was done. Don't know how much time it took, but I'm gonna bet it was under an hour. Yeah, I mean, she pretty much explained it right there. We'll go into more detail in just a second and see what Ariel has to say about it. But one of her niches is that she does cover up tattoos and they're all $160, I believe. So as you can imagine, with it being that cheap for a cover up, no matter what it is, she does them pretty quick. So it's kind of a way to persuade you to kind of go with her, right? Because you're gonna get a really cheap tattoo. The problem is, they're not exactly great. But this is what it was before, right? Okay, this so it's before. This is easily something that could be covered with a big back piece. And yeah, it's gonna break the bank, but when you want quality work, you pay quality prices. Yeah, I mean, I understand that people love a bargain. If there's one thing that you probably don't wanna to get too much of a good bargain for, it is your tattoos. Obviously, you don't want to get scammed either. We've spoke about many tattoo artists who charge thousands and thousands of dollars for really small pieces. They're basically just scamming people. So this is kind of like the complete opposite because these are really cheap tattoos. So you think you're getting a good deal. And when you're doing a cover up on what we just saw, could be like a very easy tattoo to cover up. But this is the end result. Yeah, so the first thing you might notice is that you can still see the tattoo underneath completely. You can see all these lines. I guess you try to make it flow with what she's put over the top of it, but it hasn't really worked that great. Now, I don't want to sit here and criticize it too much because it's obviously a really cheap tattoo. If you are going to be getting a tattoo that is, seems like too good to be true, you know, it is so cheap. It probably isn't going to be great. But I mean, if we just look at this like stopwatch at the bottom, it ju it's just not a good tattoo, is it? But before we get any further, I do just want to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. So it's no secret that online safety is incredibly important. And it's also no secret how much information is actually out there. I mean, we've spoken about many stories on this channel where people have found private information about other people and even used it maliciously. And they do this just by Googling it. Like they can find your email addresses, your actual addresses, your health records, even your relatives information. And this is all because data brokers are out there just selling your information to scammers and spammers and anyone else who'd want to target you. But luckily, there's an easy solution to this because Aura can actually show you what data brokers are selling your information and can even submit automatic opt-out requests to stop them. So Aura not only protects your online information, it reduces the amount of spam you get and can also protect you from hackers that could use that information to access your social media accounts, your bank accounts, or any other sensitive information they might want to access. I mean, just to put this in perspective, AT&T actually revealed that over 73 million customers customer records, both existing and former customers, were released on the dark web, and they actually recommended that those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts. Which, funnily enough, is something that Aura can actually do for you, all just in one app. So it would mean that you wouldn't have to worry about something like this because Aura can do all the hard work to keep your information safe. We all value our privacy, and if you want to take the next step in protecting your online information, you can go to www.aura.com forward slash marquee or click the link in the description to start your two week free trial. And I just want to give a big thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video, and without further ado, Let's get back into it. And it really does seem like Ariel is infamous for this at this point. I mean, if we just search her name on TikTok, we can see all these videos that show up, which is a lot of people with millions of views not exactly having the nicest things to say. I mean, here's another tattoo she did that was $100 apparently. Like I said, her kind of thing is like be doing really cheap tattoos and doing them quickly. And it's meant to be Wednesday Adam. So we can see the picture here that she's obviously, I was going to say use as reference. Seems like she's just completely traced over it although like i mean if we look at some of these lines like the nose looks messed up this hand on the top is really really bad also the dress is meant to be like a glitter tattoo there's some artists that do that incredibly well it seems like a really tricky thing to do but ariel has made multiple videos saying that she's like the glitter tattoo queen and I <laughs> Oh, one second, fucking hell, chaos in the market house. Yeah, I don't know if you could tell that was a uh, multiple box because I'm currently 
looking after my parents' dog as well because they're away at the minute. So we got two mad dogs in the house, hence the loudness when someone knocks at the door. But as I was just saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Uh, Ariel believes she is like the glitter queen when it comes to tattoos. She's made multiple videos talking about how good her glitter tattoos are. Obviously, they're not overly great. But like I said before, this is a niche. In fact, this is a video of Ariel explaining this niche. Listen to me. I am so sick and tired of people affiliating tattoos with expensive and time consuming. I'm here to tell you that tattoos don't have to be that way. This tattoo that you commented on uh, took me an hour and a half. This whole fucking tattoo from thigh all the way down to her ankle. And I only charged her $400 because I was able to get it done easily in an hour and a half. Yeah, what I find bizarre about this is that Ariel doesn't take the approach that, look, these tattoos are going to be cheaper and faster, so kind of keep your standards to a certain point based on the price and the time. Obviously, if you want, like, more detail, you could take longer. She just says that she can complete her best work in that amount of time and she doesn't want to rip people off, which, I mean, that's a nice part, I guess. But she does really seem to take this approach that if tattoo artists aren't rushing your work and are taking their time and are going to charge you a bit more, that they're doing it wrong, right? They should rush it, which is not really a good approach. It's definitely a middle ground. So sorry, baby, that your tattoo artists and a lot of tattoo artists milk the clock, milk your dollars. They'll tell you your tattoo is one price and then at the end of the session, it'll magically be another price. Yeah, look, right, some of the stuff she's saying is true, but like the stuff saying like, oh, your tattoo artist and all these tattoo artists are gonna like milk the clock. That's just not necessarily true. If they take longer than an hour and a half to do a full leg piece, I think she said it from the thigh to the ankle or something like that, right? A big piece. It's definitely gonna take more than an hour and a half. And in fact, if I got a big leg piece and it only took an hour and a half, I'd be very worried as to what I'm about to say. I'm sorry that my video made you sad, but it should make you super, super happy that you have a future reference to me without having to spend a thousand dollars. I love what I do and I'm not going to charge a thousand to do it. Okay, fair enough. That is her response to the criticism of her tattoos. Now, it is actually really worth saying here, I should have probably said this earlier, that Ariel has been tattooing for 20 years, she says. 20. So it's not like people are criticizing an apprentice here. I just want to make that very clear, right? If you just start doing tattoos, obviously you're going to expect a few like dodgy lines here and there, but that's not the case here. And I think it is also the approach where she goes into the trying to like belittle other tattoo artists that really make other tattoo artists pissed off. Like a lot of these big videos that have millions of views criticizing Ariel are tattoo artists. Now this video in particular that I'm about to show isn't from a tattoo artist, it's just one of the videos that went viral, but this person does go on to show some of Ariel's work to kind of give you a better idea. Allow me to show you some of her work. Mind you, she steals a lot of these from the internet. Yes, yeah, so this is obviously one of them I mean, glitter type tattoos. I mean, color work. No, I mean, look, at first glance this might not look too, too bad, but then you kind of see how wonky it is at the top. You see how it's just not symmetrical at the bottom in the slightest. Like, sure, that is something you can notice straight away when you put the stencil on. Here's another example of a tattoo she did that had like a clock on it. The only problem is the Roman numerals are just completely wrong. It goes one, two, four, four, five, six, seven, and uh, 13, is that? X111? One, one, one. I'm pretty sure that's 13. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's just wrong basically but look if it was just a tattoo artist who was doing bad tattoos that's one thing i probably wouldn't make a video about it but it was this thing specifically that i saw in a video by a youtuber called treacle tats i think we actually referenced treacle tats i'm pretty sure i've seen one of her videos before with the um like tattoo gate with the fox lady and stuff but she did a video on ariel de jesus and one thing that she mentioned in this is that ariel allows her daughter to tattoo now that might not sound so bad depending on the age right her daughter's 11. Hey guys, it's Natalie De Jesus, your 11 year old tattoo artist. Yep, and here she goes. There's no music, so I guess it was copyrighted. And she's doing everything herself. Uh, Ariel has been teaching her how to tattoo. Now, I mean, the person who has trusted her to do this tattoo, first of all, the very brave soul. But also, this is a problem for many, many different reasons. First of all, depending on the state she's in, because I can't obviously search the specific state, but I'm pretty sure in. It should be all states, but maybe I'm wrong. This should be illegal, and I think it is. It would definitely be illegal here in the UK. I'm pretty sure it's illegal 
in at least most of the nerds in America, if not all of them. 11 year old tattooing people, I'm pretty sure you have to be 18. You also have to have done like uh, like tests or courses or something like that with like talking about like blood pathogens and stuff. Like making sure that health wise, you know what you're doing. Because if you do a tattoo wrong, the fact that it looks bad is probably the least of your worries because you could have major, major, major health concerns afterwards. But yeah, I mean, as we can see by this video, here she is just tattooing people, 11 year old tattooing people. I mean, how irresponsible is that? Like, that is so baffling. Like, if she really wants to be a tattoo artist and do what a mother does for a living, completely get that, fair enough. But maybe start with, like, colouring books. You know, it's probably a better way to start off when you're 11 years old, like, learn how to draw before you start tattooing people. Oh, and also another thing I've just seen on Treacle Tat's YouTube channel, I would highly recommend going to watch her videos, by the way. She's made multiple, and they're all, like, 30 minutes long, so there's way more information I could ever get through. But another one that just stood out to me is that someone noticed that she didn't saran wrap or cling film the, like, rest that someone had their arm on when they were getting it tattooed. Now, in case you haven't been tattooed before, that is the normal, right? Everywhere you get tattooed, if you had to put your arm on somewhere, it's gonna be saran wrap, the actual thing you're resting your arm on. It's a hygiene thing, because like I said before, there are major health concerns if something goes wrong with this, especially hygiene-wise. But this is Ariel's response to the fact that she doesn't put cling film or saran wrap over the armrest. Um, and then second off, you know, I go through so I would go through so much saran wrap if I wrap my table every single time. I do so many tattoos in a day that would be just ridiculous and unnecessary, completely unnecessary. Okay, so as you just heard right there, the reason why she doesn't do that is because she would go through too much saran wrap, which is a crazy excuse. Now, she does also say in the state of Texas, apparently it's not mandatory to do that. Everywhere I've been for tattoos, which granted isn't that many places, I mainly go to one place, but I've been to like four or five different artists at this point. They've all saran wrapped it. It seems like it is just a thing that all tattoo artists do. Treacle Tats also says everywhere she's been, she's got way more tattoos than me. She's been abroad everywhere. They all do the same thing. It just seems a bit like, grim, a bit disgusting that she doesn't do that. I mean, look, this whole Ariel de Jesus, like, situation seems to be like a big old rabbit hole. If you want me to do a part two, I could do and go into more detail. So let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, this all kind of just started because I saw that one video at the beginning and decided to look a bit deeper. Right. Do you want to chill out? Yeah, so as you can probably tell, it's going to be a bit uh, chaotic this week with the barks because as soon as one barks, they set each other off and it, they just copy each other. So uh, yeah, I can't even remember what I was saying before that happened. I think I was saying something along the lines of Treacle Tat says that she's been abroad. It's all been the same. And uh, yeah, that's all I can remember. Sorry if I was making a good point. Realistically, probably wasn't. But yeah, either way, I'm going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy, please do a like and subscribe if you are new. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.